you know, camp and preseason and all that takes, you know, months. And I'm sure you guys are just looking forward to meaningful games where, you know, things are on the line and it's sort of competitive again. And I'm sure you just... We work all summer. Uh, training camp's a hectic time. Guys trying to figure out their lives, where they're going to be, what's uh, what's happening. So it's good to, uh, good to get the real stuff going and get into a routine again. Sort of feel like, I mean, a lot of the guys here were on the team last year. You sort of feel entering this year, you guys sort of have some unfinished business. Uh, yeah, a little bit. I mean, um, every year presents new challenges and teammates. And, uh, I mean, you can look at the past as, as, as a learning experience, but I don't think uh, I don't think it's really going to relate to us much this year. Different things are going to happen, different injuries, different guys get called up, whatever the case may be, trades. So um, there's nothing. Uh, uh, there's just looking forward, I guess, and uh, having a goal in mind and working on that. Is there a, a fine line sort of between having a comfort level with having so many guys returning versus maybe getting a little too complacent saying, you know, this was a, a you know, a Final Four team last year? And Yeah, I think um, can can look around and feel like uh, that we accomplished anything things we didn't. So um, it's just... If you take care of your own individual business, then it helps the team out. So if guys are getting complacent individually, then as a team, we won't be. So uh, I think just just go go out and uh, every day of practice and games, uh, work work hard and uh, try to get better, and that's it. So that's sort of been talked about at all in the room, the, just the chemistry you guys already have. I know a lot of times in the AHL beginning of the year, so a lot of teams are thrown together. There's new coaching staffs and tons of new players. Has so that sort of been talked about in the room to sort of take advantage of that yeah, you know, early in the season? A little bit. I think it's just... But in the AHL, there's so many different dynamics to, to winning and losing. It's not just even how you play. Sometimes it's who you have in the lineup and guys getting moves shuffled around all the time. So it's a little different than it's unique in the sense uh, compared to any other league. Um, so whoever's in the lineup every night, they have to do their individual job to give the team success. So um, I think that's how we have to go about it.